channel. Today we're doing a Turbo Smart boost, con boost gauge install. Um, doing this as the Automator one is currently buggered. It's reading 3 to 4 psi with the car off, which it shouldn't. I'll be going through the video and explaining how to diagnose that and how to test that. I apologize for the audio as I've only using my GoPro, so that's what I can afford at the moment. So follow the channel, should be sweet, there'll be plenty more coming. I'll get a new camera eventually with better audio, or I just run a microphone somehow with yeah, so forth. So hope you guys enjoy, watch the video, should be sweet, and you might get some bonus content of actually a cold start of the Rexy. As you can see, I've got it back now. Uh, it's had a fresh gearbox in it. I think they put Subaru RA gears in it. They did something to it. The thing feels like brand new. It's great. And I know these gearboxes are made of glass, but I don't go around banging gears yet. I have nearly 600 newton meters of torque. So either way, something's going to give eventually. Then it'll be six speed, six speed swap. So. We'll get we'll dive straight into the unboxing and see you there. Turbo Smart Boost Gauge. That's the gauge. Actually, not too bad. LED setup. Let's sit that there. I don't want it damaged. It's the last thing you want to do. Um, you got your instructions. They're pretty straightforward boost gauges, actually. As long as you've got. There we go. Pretty straightforward. It's got all the elbows and all the other crap comes with it. Box empty. Yeah, I got a gauge mount kit. As for some reason, the last person that put this one on, he's actually mounted it with a magnet. Okay, we've got nylon hose. It's actually rubber hose, better than what Automator uses the hard line, which is not the best. Um, a heads up with these T pieces. I can get it out of the packet, do I do this one-handed? T pieces. With this setup, they want the pill, which is that there, to go in between the vacuum line. I've already got the vacuum lines already set up, I just gotta take the old T piece out, put this one in, and plumb it all up and Bob's your uncle will get it done. Comes with this little thingy, which I could probably get that to work. It's a gauge. That's the gauge cut. So I could get that to probably work. We'll see what we can do. Okay, now time for the install. I'll show you guys how to diagnose a bad boost gauge as well. We're going to diagnose a bad boost gauge. This setup I've got in this. Yeah, the car's filthy at the moment. Yes, they're custom SDI seats. The way you can tell, this is what the tuner told me. Plus this gauge looks a little bit sorry for wear. Um, as you can see, what a matter. You see how it's not reading zero. The car is off, and it's reading. It reads between zero and five when it's off, which it shouldn't. It should be reading dead zero all the time when there's no vacuum and no pressure. Obviously, as I said, this is held on by a magnet. I don't know how that works, but it doesn't move. So, yeah, I will be rerouting that turbo timer as it's in a prick of a spot. So, it's not even bolted down. <laughs> we'll be doing a tutorial on that. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing a tutorial on that soon. Um, got bits and pieces of it set up in here. Looking at the STI gauge pods to go here, and the ATI gauge pods to go on the top of the steering column. So, that doesn't, yeah. Okay, we'll get cracked into this install and we can learn a bit. It's connected from the car, the gauge. I actually have to... Excuse the light. Where's the gauge? This here is the old gauge, as you can see. Leaking. Obviously there's cracks in the screen. I don't know how old this thing is, but it's, it's done. And we're getting out air bubbles now. So, something's leaking out of it. It's done and dusted. It's the end of that. I think that just, yeah, it's done and dusted. So, here, I'll show you where to put that. Right now, I'll show you where the original one is. 
original one is right there. I just got to actually take leave that there. Shit. I better cut that, cut that, that slides out. Cut this. I might actually reroute this a little bit better. You can see SDI turbo, bigger exhaust. Um might reroute this a little bit nicer as this is just sketchy. Need a new one of these, that's a definite. I don't even know if that's still holding on. Um turbo. I need all new setup. This is the block valve I was telling you about. As you can see there, and kept the light to stay. So yeah, that's open to atmosphere. That's what the car's been tuned to. And if you turn this, as you can see, it closes. See? So you can have it half ventilated, half, uh, half atmosphere, half whatever. It's entirely up to you. So, Got a Subi, get one of them. It's worth it, definitely. Okay, now to get this off and we'll get down to mounting the gauge cup. Some finessing. I found the two wires that I'm going to use off the old gauge. I had to pull the whole cluster out to actually get this thing in. We've got, as you can see, we've got the hose there. The original shit that was on there and the dash rip. Routed in the fly wall around there, it will be tucked, will be tucked up above. Oh, I'll still work this shit out. Um, yeah, I'll keep it away from the turbo as much as possible. Uh, yeah, this is after a lot of swearing, yelling, and eventually worked it out. So, hopefully, we'll have the finished product soon. We'll work out the wiring next, which shouldn't be too bad. That's the easy part. This is the pain in the ass part. The final product. Yeah, that's where the old wiring was. The wiring wasn't long enough. So that's where it will sit. So it's a neat setup. It's clean. It's not obnoxious. And that 20 PSI mark will be getting pounded with this thing. So yeah, we'll finish this up and we'll show it running. Done. Oh, turn down the radio, I don't want copyright. Let's see. What? Oh, I meant does that look? That's the Turbo Smart Boost Gauge. Get to get my car on cold start. The turbo smart boost gauge. Wrap on the boost gauge install. Um, I hope this helps with anyone. I think I showed you how to do the T piece. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty basic. Follow the instructions, you should be sweet. Remember, like, subscribe. Check out the Instagram. I have got it under a different name because Streetcar Media was taken. So I've got it under J Media 88. Follow them or fo follow that for updates on your videos and updates and I hope to see you guys next time peace out guys